Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! I wonder what that thing does that I was just walking over. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm, we got this weird thing here, too. Hmm. Uh, oh, wrong way. Keep going up. Then go over here. Now, if you remember from last time, there was a glyph or whatever that thing was that we touched in the lower left room there. Get another black magic sphere. Awesome. Can never have enough of those. And, uh, at least I think the way you're supposed to do it is you go to the lower left, you get that glyph, you get all your party members back, and then you go over here, and that does something. I'm not entirely sure how this exactly works. I just know that it works. It's because I'm an electrical er, electronics engineer. I just build the thing. I don't know how it works. I'm not an electrical engineer. That's different. I could have become one, but I didn't. Uh, let's see. I don't think that thing does it. What does that thing do differently from... I don't know what that thing does there. There's the one at the beginning and the one here. Yeah, I have no idea what they do. Okay, now with this one, what you want to do is wait for the arrow to point up there. Haha! -ha, I think I got it. Please work. Yeah, so basically you get that tile over here. You can teleport through the bars there. You can fit through those bars. Yeah. But anyway, we get a skill sphere. Awesome. Lucid ring. Uh, what does that do? Probably like confused protection or something. Uh, oh, a whole bunch of things, but eh, I don't really care about it. So the skill sphere will be really useful for learning uh, quick hit for another party member. But anyway, ooh, nice. Yeah, hidden treasure right behind the bars. Okay, wait for this to point down, and it'll send us back to where we came from, I, I think. Okay, easy enough. Let's go back now. I think we're, we're done with this area. I thought there was a little more to that puzzle there, but well, I guess I was wrong. Okay, we made it there. Let's uh, use those new sphere levels on Yuna, shall we? Ooh, we're getting close, viewers. It's an ability that I would really like to get for Yuna there, if I can. Uh, let's see. Yeah, reflect. You know why, viewers. You know why. But, uh, well, not yet, so let's head on up then. And fight a new enemy Failure here. Is not an option. But anyway, yeah, let's just have everyone defend here for a little while. Uh, this guy, I think, is weak to just about anything. Or at least magic. Or something rather Failure. like that. I don't know. But anyway, Oron can one-shot him. So, hooray! Now oh, that worked well enough. But yeah, I wonder what happens if you try to go up here without all your party members. I don't know. You got me on that one. Please. Whatever, I'm not going to edit this one out. This will take me 10 seconds. Besides, I got so many... This guy's really... Wow, I get two rounds for every combat round of combat that he does. Wow, that is sad with this party. Because this is like my slow party. Okay, get up here... Game? Do you have to ambush me every time, game? Hmm? Whatever. We'll get him anyway. Oh, I'm only getting so many rounds of combat because I'm defending all the time. See, what I wanted to do was get into my uh, menu and get those, use those last few, st for last sphere levels. Okay, that's about as far as I want to go. Let's uh, finish this off real quick here. Uh, right, I do not want to go for the strength for Kamari, so we'll leave well enough alone there. Uh, let's see, you just keep on doing whatever you want. What do you need agility for, Juan? You're already as slow as, uh, uh, well, whatever would follow that expression, I don't know. Slow as a slug, or a snail, or, I don't know, whatever. Ooh, one more level for you, Yuna. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get reflecting time. Well, Lady Yuna, 
So it is you. Hey, hey, all right. Why are you here? You've come to rescue us, right? We rode the airship to the Calm Lands, then came to Bevel. How did you Maester get here? Maester Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. Nuts. <laughs> you will fight us. You mean make a deal the with us, right? The orders are law. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood, you're a traitor. Why? Did they even tell you? His guardians. I don't see them. We can take Maroda him. Maroda and Passe are not here. I will do this unhappy deed myself. It seems like he knows this is Forgive wrong. Forgive me, but Lady Yuna. He's going to fight us anyway. For boss time! I don't know, if I knew something was wrong and someone ordered me to do it, I don't think I would do it. I mean, you're a freaking summoner. What are they gonna do, shoot you? You summon the freaking demon from hell. Your aeons against mine. Uh-oh. He's already got a uh, really powerful uh, overdrive going there. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's bring out Bahamas. You can bring out whoever you want, really, for this part, as long as it's not Ifrit. Although, for some reason, his Ifrit has a different name. Uh, okay, I can't see his name. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Can I get to Blizzaga? Yes, I can. Awesome. I don't think he's actually weak to Blizzaga, though. Okay, now he has 8,000 HP. I'm sorry, 8,000 HP. And he's about to use his overdrive, so shields up, Captain. Uh, yeah, I think this guy's name is uh, Gracia or something or other like that. I don't know. It's basically different. Same difference. Oh, one other thing about Bahamut is, uh, yeah, because we just got him from the Pavel Tumble here. Ow, quit it. But yeah, uh, Bahamut has uh, innate uh, break damage limit if you wanted to use that. I don't want to use it, but you can if you want. Uh, break damage limit, by the way, uh, for those who don't know, uh, normally. As you've seen from some of my overdrives that I've done, uh, the max damage is 9,999, just like the last game. But if you have the break damage limit ability, then you can go all the way up to 99,999. Too bad they didn't have that in Final Fantasy 12. I know they had it in the international version. But you know what I mean. There were some ways of breaking it, but still. Yeah, it made uh, Yasma real pain. It's not over yet. Oh well. Okay. So anyway, uh, let's see. Let's go summon. Hmm. Let's go with if this time. I should be able to take him. And if I need healing, I can always cast fire on myself. Okay. Uh, well, let's uh start with fear on, and that should be the uh, easiest way to go. Let's see, in order to overkill all of these Aeons, you need to deal uh, 2,550 damage. So, yeah, I'm a little short on that for this one. And you do want to uh, overkill them because you do get AP for these fights. Unlike against uh, Belgamine, I think. But that's okay. Uh, you know what, let's see how Meteor Strike does against them. Nope, that didn't do much better either. I want to try and avoid using my overdrives if I can help it. Uh, I might just switch to another Aeon or something. Let's get in uh, a couple more uh, hits here. Uh-oh, his overdrive's full. Um, shields up. Yeah, whenever you see that orange bar below him charge up, you, got, you want to be ready for it. Thank goodness he doesn't know uh, Energy Blast, or that would kill you.
Okay, I'm going to switch out for... Uh... Yeah, let's switch out for Bahamut. I know he can overkill this guy. Uh, if I didn't say so before, he has 12 grand HP. So we just do that. Please don't hit me. Thank you. I could have just summoned bah Bahamut again, but eh, I figured I'd throw in a little variety here. But yeah, I thought Ifrit would be able to uh, overkill this guy, but uh, apparently not. Oh well. We'll just go... Oh, wow, you're almost out of MP. Well, that's another reason why you... Uh, why I would switch <laughs> Aeons, because, yeah, I'm out. Whoops. And now for the last one. How many summons does this guy have, anyway? Well, okay, I just told you. That. Anyway. Yeah, this is the last one he got. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. It's HC Bailey. If these are all the summons he has, what happened to Ixion? Shouldn't he have that? I mean, we saw him at the temple there, right? At Jose? And, I mean, you must assume that he has it, right? Or had it. I mean, I don't know. I cannot let you pass. None shall pass. Okay, let's bring out Shiva this time. Yep, yeah, I don't know what happened to Ixion. I mean, maybe it died at... Uh, what was that place called? Where we were at uh, the desert there, at home, or whatever. That would be my guess. Like, w when they were defending all of us from the Guado there with their summons, I mean, maybe they were able to kill them. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, uh, Baham or Spathy, this guy. The last one was named Patera, or Terra, or whatever, like a pterodactyl, or Terria, I don't know. Whatever. This guy's Spathy, I guess. At least that's his name, I think. But anyway, yeah, he's got uh, 20,000 HP and same overkill now. And Yuna sure could use the uh, AP there. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Overkill. Yeah, Bahamut, pretty easy because he's just charging up for his attack there the whole time. How is that ring floating on your back there? I hope this doesn't become a trend in the next game. No, not that other game. I, I meant Final Fantasy XII, where they do that with a lot of the uh, Stay away. <laughs> Yuna, let's go. I, I, I don't know There's why. A way that, to the surface that, that just made me laugh the way he said, Stay away. <laughs> Thank you. We could have just, you know, knocked you upside the head with the hilt Your of my sword. Village is over. Now curl up in the fetal position and wait for them to come for you with your paycheck. Or your uh, pink slip since you, you know, kind of failed in your duties and all that. But, well, whatever. Well, it looks like we, they made it out okay, but, oh, there's a, there's a chest there? Huh? Oh. What the? This is a, a shop? I never knew this was here. Is this always here in every version of the game? Huh. I did not know that. But anyway, okay, so we got Titus here. Uh, let's double check my equipment. Okay, we got that, 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 that. Okay, we are good to go. Let's take a look around. Okay, well, we got a few new enemies around here. Let's see, all these enemies pretty much have the same stuff to steal, I think. You just get uh, dragon scales from them. But I really don't care that much about that. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have something that hits all enemies, so... Oh, well. Uh, let's see, why don't we just steal from them? Whatever. Let's see, as far as HP goes... Let's see, the Octopi. Oh, okay, we don't have Octopi here. Uh, let's see, Remora, I think. Yeah, Remora. 
has a lot more HP, so we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Whoa! Even Waka can't kill them. We should be able to overkill all these guys, though. Uh, you know what? Why don't you do something useful? Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, that ought to be good enough. I was thinking about maybe using a lightning marble, but, oh, now I can't overkill him. Whatever. Don't need to overkill every enemy in the game. Just most of them. Quench that blood thirst. Okay, let's make it to the... Wow, two save points on one screen? Or the mini-map there? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, there's the big guy, the uh, octopi there. Okay, let's see. Let's go... Let's see, how much do I need to overkill one of those guys? Yeah, we should be able to overkill them with uh, Electro Marble there. Good thing I stole all those things way earlier in the game. Ow. Oh, that's not going to be enough, is it? Hmm. Well, I'll find some way of dealing with that. Let's see... Getting a little low on those, but that's okay. And if I can't overkill the octopi, whatever. Can I cheer myself a little bit? Yeah, why don't we do that? See if I can uh, get just enough strength to uh, overkill the guy. Looks like he has some sort of armor or something that's helping him out, too. Oh, I could have stolen from him. Nuts. I needed 2108 to overkill him, but I could not. Oh, well. Okay, just make it to the save point. Game? Yes! Okay, made it. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, finish this off. Let's see. A little more HP, that'd be nice. Ooh, we're getting close to Haste God. Yeah, one of my favorite abilities in the game. Yeah, basically, haste on everyone. Uh, let's see. You go down there. Very good. And let's see, you go down there. Ooh, man, lots of HP for everyone today, huh? And let's get up here. Okay, let's keep going then. Hmm. Looks like we've hit the end of the road here, though. Huh? What's with all those pyroflies? Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Just uh, find a way to open the door there, Titus. Or not. Nuts. Whoa! Is it boss? We just killed a man ago. Holy cow. Okay, now this is every Altana. Uh, you have a trigger command in this battle. If you open the lock there, I think that mitigates or eliminates his ability to counterattack you with a physical. I think, at least that's what I was told. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate that because if you do open the lock, you miss out on treasures down the road. So first things first, let's get the uh, darkness on him, with the smoke bomb. That way, if he does counter or when he does counterattack, he really can't hit us anyway. Now the easy way of killing this guy, since he's undead, is you could just uh, drop. Oh, I forgot to equip new weapons. Whatever. Yeah, you could just drop. Uh, uh, Phoenix downs on him. Please don't stone me. Please don't stone me. Please don't stone me. Thank you. Okay, we should be good now. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, why don't you just defend there for a little bit, Riku? And you attack, Waka. That dealt a lot of damage, just trust me. Okay, let, let me see if I can't get haste on Riku. No, that doesn't really help me right now. I want to get s slow on this guy. But he is pretty resistant to it, so it's probably going to take a few attempts to get it on him or not. Okay, never mind then. Uh, you could also use Copycat to copy the slow spell, which is why I was thinking about putting points on uh, Riku there, but I guess I don't need to. And, uh, yeah, let me get uh, a little more strength going there. And I could just, like, quintuple cheer, but I can already deal a lot of damage to this guy. And, yeah, I'm just going to have Riku defend, maybe heal us every now and then with, like, a 
uh, an Abed potion or something. One thing about this boss, though, is that um, if you get uh, petrified underwater, uh, you're basically gone for the entire battle, I think. It's like being ejected from the battle or something. So, yeah, you probably don't want that to happen. So if you just want to play it safe, just use Double Phoenix Down on him. It'll deal uh, max damage to him. And you got to use two of them on him, I think, to kill him. And voila, you'll get him that way. But, well, I decided to make, it make the fight remotely interesting. So yeah, counterattacks, not really much to worry about there. So, yeah, I would just, uh, ooh. And for overkilling him, we get two black magic spheres. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's why you want to overkill him, because when you do that... Oh, can I, uh... Can I even go back to the save point? Please? Okay, good, good. Yeah, for a second there, I thought the game was going to, like, prevent me from uh, backtracking there. So, okay, let's get one more level in there. Ooh, one more and we'll, we'll be golden. Uh, let's see, you go down one more... What is down there, anyway? Is that holy? I think it's holy. Oh, full life. Okay. I was thinking of uh, the wrong one. I was thinking of uh, something else there. But Okay, so it looks like we've made it past our boss here. Yuna's made it past her bosses there. But will we be able to make it out in time before Seymour and everyone else comes to the exit to greet us? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.